and start over 100 grams of sugar and water. So now fruit is obviously a better option, but we're trying to do this in the budget, aren't we? Show people how easy it is. And for people out there who don't like eating fruit, some people uh, claim they're allergic to fruit. I think that's bogus, but no judgment. We'll give you options. We'll give you options. Why? And he's like, yeah, you know, like he's an obese dude. And he's like, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm just, nah, mate, I'm, I'm not allowed to eat fruit. My doctor said not to eat fruit. I'm allergic to it. And the doctor said I need more protein, more fats. And I'm like, I can tell, bro. I can tell what you're eating, mate, for the last five years. I can tell because it shows up today. All right. So, but again, like this, this chat video challenge here is just to show people how fucking easy it is. It's not my preferred way to eat. I prefer fruit. I earn good money. I can spend good money on fruit. Fruit's ex high quality fruit, extremely hard to find, extremely expensive when you can find it in Australia. So that's the reality. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that, but I'm doing this video series to show people how fucking easy it is. So you got two bucks a day. You can do vegan and you can train like a motherfucker. You can get fit as fuck on $2 a day. Will you be able to eat $10, $10 mangoes? No, you can't. But will you have enough energy to do anything you fucking want? Yes, you will. When I eat my, those mango meals, those $100 boxes of grapes, and I eat them in one sitting, that's like a delicacy for me. But can you perform on sugar, oats, and rice? You can perform with the best athletes on the planet. If you take an EPO, you'll be up there as well. Like, uh, Kensington Road, steepest, one of the steepest climbs in Adelaide. Look at that ramp you said, look at that. That's steep, mate. Doing it easy. <laughs> Doing it easy. Cadence, mate. Gearing, probably. Proper gearing. This is Kensington Lookout. It's called Sky Lookout. Kensington Road. Strava segment just finishes just here. I've got the KOM. Come and take it. Anyway, so the bike we're going to use is the Everesting bike we have here. Now, this is... If you've got a big ego, you might want to turn off now. This is a 40 cassette in the back. And on the front, I've got a 22, and I shaved it off. Don't show Shimano warranty. But I shaved off the inner bit of the chain ring here so it would fit on this giant bike. I'm taking the front derailleur off because you don't need a front derailleur here, everything. Stick it in the 22 and spin the wind. And you can always just get off and put, you can sort of done here. To get here, I had to <laughs> put the chain on the chain ring, otherwise it was going to be. I'm doing 120 watts at, at 150 cadence, uh, just spinning out. But so there you go. That's how you go up any hill you want. This is going to be great. This is going to be. This is going to be the setup. If you're really fucking obese out of shape then get a 22 on the front and get a 40 on the back run if you're running a 10 speed is that you can do it an 11 speed but most people don't have a thousand bucks for derailleur so i'd recommend just a shimano actually probably a shram uh, mountain bike derailleur with shram 10 speed road shifters get a praxis 40 cassette on the back there and just any any shimano or shram 10 speed or nine speed, or it's going to be 10 speed actually, 10 speed double chain ring, nine speed, 10 speed, 11 speed, they all pretty much work on the same chain rings. Um, this is this is a 10 speed chain ring, that's a nine speed chain ring, it's 11 speed KMC chain, and it all works pretty seamlessly. Pretty seamlessly. Um, there you go, that's going to be the future for gearing, is going to be the 40, Shimano Shrampies, 40 and a 22 for our obese people, we'll get them into cycling, not even if you're obese, just if you're like, Hey, man, I'm not fucking obese, and I'm fucking running this gear. So if it's good enough for me, it's good enough for anyone who wants to do epic shit. Uh, Peter Pooley recently won the Dwayne race, had a 42 cassette in the back. Can't argue with that. Oh, I dare say he would have gone even faster had he had a smaller chaining on the front, like, say, maybe a 42 or something like that. He would have gone even faster, but, uh, or even a 38. There you go, leave your comments down below. But that's the beast. That's the Everesting bike. There and done. And that's one thing good thing about not being sponsored. I can give you my 100% unbiased opinion. A lot of companies would cringe at the sight of a, a, one of their road bikes with a 40 cassette or whatever, but when it comes from Duran Road, it's unbiased. That's why people say, oh, the pros don't do it. And it's like, yeah, but if you're a pro rider, you have sponsorship obligations, man. You can't just jump on any bike and go, hey, it's No, 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 no way, man. You will lose your contract. Duran Riders contracts, I've got zero contracts with any sponsors. So I don't have any sponsors even. I've got a few people who go, hey, Harley, try this out. Would you like this flavor, blah, blah, blah. But I don't have anyone. You know, there's no sponsorship, there's no contracts. I don't give anyone a shout out. There's no, there's no obligation for me. So if I recommend a product, or if you see me using a product, it's not because I got given it as like a hidden product placement. And that's people do that, that's fine, but I don't. So you know, if I'm using something, it's because I back it, I've bought it, or I'm testing it out. Just in case there's any confusion. Then another tip to clean your bottles out, you can buy a dish, a bottle brush. We can even use a toilet brush, all right? So that's the way, most people just throw their bottles out and they get mold. Clean them out, man.
clean them out over the garden and use these forever. Plastic just lasts forever, man. So I'm gonna have a little quick snack, 100 grams of sugars. I'll tell you that. 100 grams, 400 calories, 15 cents. So we here we have coconut water. I was giving some crates of coconut water. It's another freebie. This is a uh, coconut growth, little free stuff. So we have a box of sustain here. Just open that up. So we're going to deviate today because people are like, oh, you're just eating the same things. Do right. Well, that's the fucking two dollar challenge. All right. So we're going to deviate. We're going to do a. This is about. I think it's on sale for three dollars fifty. It's fifteen hundred calories. We're going to add maybe thirty cents of sugar in there. And we're good to go. I should not even weigh this because we know how many calories. So we have it per servings, 40 grams. A servings of is 12 servings. No, no, no. This is one. Let, let me get. Let me get a pen. All right. So we correct that Kellogg's. It's one fucking serve. All right. One serve. Maybe 1,500 calories in here. And this is Kellogg Sustain. All right. So that's got a lot of. Uh, so you can see here. I mean, I'm going to be overdosing. Overdosing. I'm going to overdose that in thiamine. Riboflavin, niacin, B6, vitamin C, folate iron. I'm going to overdose in all of these because I'm going to be getting, I'm going to be getting 25 times 12. We're going to get 50 times 12. So people go, what are you getting through? What are you doing? So I fucking eat, man. Just fucking eat. All right, here we go. You can't eat, you can't eat a box of cereal. You can't work very hard, can you? Every last flake. Do you want to be flake free? Every last flake, look at that. Now if you cereal, that's how you know you've had enough. If your spoon holds up, you've got enough in the plate. All right, we've got sugar. We've got 330 grams left. It's 45 cents. About 1,200 calories around about. We're going to put all that in there. Now this is how we fucking eat. Don't be a hardcore cunt. Don't take drugs. Just fucking eat carbs, bro. My legs are going to fucking feel great tomorrow. Let's do some epic shit tomorrow. Let's do some shit no one else has fucking done tomorrow. And I found some soy milk in there. That's got to get used today. Should be alright, I reckon. Looks pretty good. Here we go. Let's fill some. I'll put some water in here, dilute a little bit. Mix it in, mate. Mix it in. Yeah, that spoon's still holding up. Look at that. You can't even erode it. Look at that. Here you go, liter. A little water and so on. Put some more in later. Keep a high water content. And this is taking about 10 minutes to eat.